Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Welcome to week five of our Fall Stewardship series, Giving to God, the Bible's good news about living a generous life. Each week, we will be exploring stewardship in worship and in study. We will have a sermon series which will explore the week's topics and our Bible studies will help us dig even more deeply to the weekly theme. Along with the Bible, we will have a companion on our journey and that is the book entitled Giving to God by Reverend Mark Allen Powell. If you haven't done so already, we encourage you to pick up a copy of this book today. Our fifth week's theme is stewardship through faithful living and giving. Reverend Mark Allen Powell begins this conversation in the following way. Stewardship means giving 100% to God. There are two reasons why Christians do not always get this. First, churches often use the phrase giving to God in a way that is synonymous with giving to the church. A second reason follows closely on the first. Churches often recognized that the summons for Christians to give up everything they own is impractical, and so they modify this biblical teaching in favor of a more realistic expectation, the concept of percentage giving. This is from page 79 in the book. Now, Reverend Mark Allen Powell doesn't abandon us as we wade into today's topic. Stewardship is not only about our finances, but it is also about using all our treasures in our lives as a response to those gifts. So how do we do this 100%? Is that even possible? He continues by offering us a framework to begin seeing how we might go about it. And that is through one, the rule of God, two, the Lordship of Christ, and three, the direction of the Holy Spirit. A return to a previous week's look at stewardship through the Trinitarian lens. This week's stewardship verse is Acts 20, verse 35, and it reads, In all this I have given you an example by such work we must support the weak, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, for he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. We will also be invited to consider the ways that we acquire our material wealth, how we regard that wealth, how we manage it, and how we spend it. And at each stop along the way, we will explore this through multiple examples from Scripture. Is your life ruled by faith in God's abundance, or is the picture of your stewardship blurred by worrying that God's grace is a scarce resource? Are there places in your own life where you might not want to give up control because you're worried about what might happen if you did? These questions and many more will be part of our week in study, in prayer, and in worship. Come and lend your voice, your thoughts, and your ideas to our conversation and be blessed by the stories of others. Let us pray. Lord, help us make good choices every day. Thank you for the grace you've given, the forgiveness that you shower us with each day, and for the encouragement to share it with others. We pray for this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.